Kinky Gamers, it's me, Kinky Wife, and I'm making a, a short little vlog today. Uh, I am going to be cooking some rice. I'm going to be cooking some bell peppers, and we're going to try to stuff them with rice and ground beef and bell pepper. So uh, we're going to try our best, see how that goes, and uh, we're going to get a whirl. We're going to be baking them in this little pan here because my other pans are way up on uh, the shelf up further up and I can't reach them right now so anyway so I just have my rice cooking right now and then um, I'm gonna show you guys the next step okay great and so we're back and my water just started boiling for my rice so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put a lid on it Whoop. then we're gonna turn it down to low Okay. And we're just going to wait for about 15 minutes for that to cook on low, to simmer on low. And then um, after that, we're going to wait 15 minutes more after we take it off the heat. All I did was put two cups of rice and four cups of water with a stick of butter in there. And as you can see, I am chopping my peppers here. We're actually going to chop them flat so that they're kind of sitting like little boats. And then what we're going to do is rub them with um, olive oil and some salt and pepper and put them here in our pan and bake them for about 20 minutes. Okay, so we are back and what I did was I rubbed all of these um, with clean hands with olive oil and salt and pepper. And I'm probably going to sprinkle like a little bit of salt and pepper over the top of them. It's kind of hard to do this while I'm actually holding it. So, um, well, holding the phone. <laughs> Hold the phone. Um, yeah, so now we're going to put these into the oven. We put our oven at 350 degrees and we're going to put these in for um, about 15 to 20 minutes, probably 15 minutes to pre-bake them so that they won't be raw kind of on the outside. It's raw. We don't want Gordon Ramsay to say that this is raw. So we're going to uh, bake them for 15 minutes in the oven first before we put the stuffing in. Okay, so we have only a few seconds left on our rice. In just a few seconds, we are going to take our rice off the timer, um, off the stove. Actually, there we go. So I took the timer off and we're actually not going to open this. We're going to take it off the heat, turn off the burner and we're going to let it sit here for 15 more minutes. So that is going to go for another 15 minutes while we wait for it to be complete um, because otherwise the water in the top will not soak into the rice on the bottom and it will not be soft and delicious enough. So yeah, <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to make our ground beef. So I've got a frozen thing of ground beef here. You can put it under cold running water in a bowl to defrost the meat. You can leave it in the fridge to defrost it. What I like to do is just start cooking it frozen. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add some onions and some vegetables in here, maybe even some cheese. And we're going to, of course, add our rice and tomatoes and we're going to have an awesome stuffing for the, um, stuffed bell peppers. Okay. So just to cook the meat, all I've done is I put a little bit of water in the pan, put a little bit of salt and pepper, a tiny bit of garlic powder in there, and we're going to keep cooking it and breaking it apart until we have our meat. So we don't really want to waste time unless you have like Hulu or something to watch while you're sitting uh, standing in the kitchen. For me, I don't have any place to sit down, so I don't want to waste time. So what I'm going to do is start chopping my other vegetables while my meat is cooking. Okay, so we are back. We chopped a bunch of vegetables and our rice just finished steaming. So that is perfectly steamed rice. So that was 15 minutes on low after we brought it to a boil. Two cups of dried, um, just regular rice with four cups of water. And then we um, put it on low with a lid on it for 15 minutes. And then after that, we put a little bit of butter in there also. And then after that, we just let it, put it off the heat for 15 minutes. So now, um, what we have is, I. you can actually use a number of different things for your vegetables. Usually you're going to start out with onions and then you can add other things like you can add some pieces of your bell pepper, some people add spinach, um, some people add different types of vegetables, zucchini, etc. 
So I'm just going to keep it simple. I've never made bell peppers before. So we're going to do um, some onion and some bell pepper, a little bit of mushrooms because I have a bunch of mushrooms. I was supposed to make beef stew. I still haven't made it. So I'm going to probably make it after this just so I can make it before my mushrooms go. So we're going to put the onions in a pan over here. We are going to be putting a little bit of salt and pepper on that. After that, we're going to put the other vegetables in, um, stir it a bit. We're going to put a little bit of tomato paste in there and, um, and stir it a bit more. Then we're going to mix our ground beef once it's nice and toasty. It is, uh, it's, um, we're trying to like kind of rehydrate it over here because it was frozen. So, and then if you want, you can put any kind of spices you like. Some people put, uh, make it more Italian flavored with like, um, oregano, uh, Italian seasoning, and some people go more for like chili powder, um, cumin to make it more of like a taco thing. So I still haven't decided what I'm going to do. I think people can kind of do it from taste. So um, I'll show you guys that next step in just a second. Okay, we've got everything coming along pretty nicely. We've got our meat browning in the pan. I'm just going to uh, flip it around just to make sure it doesn't burn. Um, we've got our onions that are sauteing here on the stove. Um, and we're going to mix our other vegetables in there in just a minute. And then I accidentally forgot, I accidentally forgot about my peppers, so I did leave them in there for a little bit too long. They were probably in there for 30 minutes instead of, uh, like 20. So, oops. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, they'll just be a little softer, uh, than normal. So yours probably won't look this done yet. Um... So basically you want to uh, cook them, bake them for about 20 minutes on 350, then take them out, obviously let them cool sitting here, and then we're going to stuff them once we get our stuffing done, and then we're going to bake them again for about 20 minutes. Okay, and I'll see you guys in a second with all of that. Alright, so we have our onions coming along nicely, and our meat over here. We're just going to put in a little bit of um, tomato paste into our onions about a tablespoon and I also um, have already put salt and pepper in it one thing that I do I put a little bit of this in it um, freeze dried garlic you can also just use regular garlic and I'm going to try to use regular garlic more my garlic always ends up going bad so I get a lot of the freeze dried and it tastes almost like fresh garlic um, because it's you know preserved and freeze dried it tastes really good it tastes a lot better than garlic that a lot better than garlic powder, let's just say that. So we're going to uh, mix this around, put our other vegetables, and then we're going to put our meat in it. And then we're going to also put some uh, canned tomatoes. So we will be back in just a minute. Alright, and I just put the rest of the vegetables in there. Um, you can use any kind of vegetables you really want. There are a ton of different recipes online. A lot of people use the bell peppers, like the tops of them. Or they'll add in some spinach, um, celery, uh, some other different kinds of vegetables. But I really like, I don't know, I'm just going to try this. I had a few extra mushrooms on hand and I had an extra bell pepper that I didn't like how it looked. It was like all funny shaped. So I was like, well, I'll just chop that up. Don't tell Luke. <laughs> so we're going to keep that going for a little bit. We got a little bit of tomato paste in there um, to give it a little bit of color. And then we're going to mix these two together. And I'll show you guys when I come back. Okay, so it's coming along nicely, getting nice and sautéed. So you don't want any, like, bites of, like, hard onion or something like that. So what I decided to put in here was some chili powder, oregano, some garlic powder, and some cumin. So it's kind of to your taste. Um, there are a lot of different people that have different ways of doing it, but I feel like it's to everybody's taste. And I put a tiny bit more of um, the... Um, tomato paste, which I like to get in the cans because then I don't, if I get it in a tube, I'll, the tube, whole tube will waste for me. So if I get it in tiny cans, at least I know that at least I'm just, you know, uh, wasting that one can if I don't end up using it again. So now we're going to put the meat in. Okay. And we're also going to put at least a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I don't know if this will be enough, but hopefully it will be so. I'm gonna put that right on there and we're gonna stir it up and then after that we're gonna put a little bit of rice and uh, mix it together in a bowl and we are gonna stuff our peppers 
Now, at this point, um, when you mix it in the bowl, you can put some cheese in it, but uh, when it goes into the peppers, or you can just put cheese on top. Alrighty, and we have everything mixed together. We've got the ground beef, um, we have the onions, bell peppers, a little bit of a vegetable, of whatever you want to put in there, like spinach. I put mushrooms. And then we have some of our awesome spices in there, and of course our ground beef. And of course our 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. So, and a little bit of tomato paste. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of rice in there. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to put in. I'm just going to kind of eye it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I uh, took rice from my little rice container here with a little cup measurement. I got what's about two cups of rice. So this looks like it's going to be okay. So um, at this point, um, I've seen people do this a lot of different ways. And honestly, I kind of forgot what way I was supposed to be doing it. So, um, I'm just going to put this right on top, and then I think we're going to take it off the heat and stir it together. Maybe we'll put a little cheese in there. Alright, so I'm going to stir this together, and we might put a little bit more rice in. Okay, so we just have a couple more steps to do to make sure that we get our stuffed peppers stuffed. So, what I did is I actually um, put some cheese, a little bit of mozzarella and cheddar cheese in here. You can use number of different kinds of cheeses, um, Parmesan, or um, I believe Parmesan mozzarella is more of the Italian way, and then if you want to Americanize it, add some cheddar cheese. So um, we've got that, we're going to mix that up, and then over here in our pan, this is where our pepper's baked. What I'm going to do is, is pour some um, just tomato sauce, it doesn't matter what kind, you can have your own kind that you made but it's just kind of like cheaper for me to just buy it <laughs> and, and time, time saving. So you can just like spread it around the pan. Um, there's the oil that was in the pan before, but that's just, I feel like that's just going to add extra flavor. So, so we're just going to make sure that we get this all covered. Um, I might add a little bit more tomato sauce there so yeah that took like an entire jar but um, that's okay all right so just make this a little bit more even so I just tried the mixture here uh, tried a little bit of it in a bowl so to see if it tasted good and oh my gosh it does taste really good so that is with the uh, basically a little bit of mushrooms onions we got a little bit of tomato paste, a 14 ounce can of tomatoes, one pound of ground beef. Um, I did two to three cups of rice, so many people do two cups of rice. I did almost three cups of rice, and then of course I seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, cumin, chili powder, oregano, and some freeze dried garlic but it's even better if you have fresh garlic. So now what I'm gonna do is just gonna take, with clean hands, take each pepper, stuff them, and then put cheese on the top, and then we're gonna bake this puppy for um, 20 more minutes. All right, we'll be back. Alrighty, and I've got little tomato paste over here. Um, okay, so, <laughs> all right, so all that's left is just to sprinkle a little bit of um, cheese on top of these guys, and we are going to stick these in the oven at 350 degrees for another 20 minutes, and they should be done. So you can see I made about twice as much as I needed to, so if you guys are making this many stuffed peppers, you probably only need a half a pound of meat, um, one and a half cups of rice, and... Um, you just like one half of an onion and only one half of a bell pepper um, and then maybe a tiny bit of another vegetable for the filling because I made literally with one pound of uh, meat and two, two to three cups of rice and a, one can of tomatoes and the recipe that I used I made twice as much so I might have to bake some more pre-bake some more bell peppers and uh, bake some more so Un but you know what also this filling is so good on its own it's not even funny so you could just eat it right like it is <laughs> all right guys we're gonna put this in the oven and we're gonna wait 20 minutes okay so what I did now is I just cut up um two 
peppers, but I think I can only fit three in this pan. And then I'll have enough stuffing for these three. So I'm going to pre-bake these. Whoop. I'm going to pre-bake these for about, um, <laughs> oops, my flash came on. Oh, actually, actually, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to pre-bake these for about um, 20 minutes, and then I'm going to uh, fill them and put cheese on top of them like I did the others. Oh, right, and we just took the stuffed peppers out of the oven, and presto, they look delicious. I forgot how to say delicious in Italian, but this isn't really... I don't know if this is originally Italian recipe. I think it is. Um, so, yeah, they look amazing, and, um, I just had myself a little just bowl of this mixture on top of the rice that I made. It was so good. So, um, Luke just woke up, because we're gonna record, so we don't actually have time to eat these right now, which is a crying shame. Um, I should really invite you guys over to have these, because... Um, somebody needs to eat them. Uh, so what I did was I just chopped up my other, uh, um, bell peppers that I had and we put them in here. So they are baking right now. So they're looking amazing. So, um, yeah, so I, I haven't really taken a bite of these yet. I'm sure they're phenomenal. You guys can ask Luke how they were, um, <laughs> later, but that has been, um, stuffed bell peppers with K wife. And it, this was a very impromptu, um, uh, basically, uh, vlog, cooking vlog, and uh, some of my stuff is not together. I kind of got some, uh, tomato paste on the stove there, but, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. So actually, what this made was about 11 halves of bell peppers, so that would be like six peppers cut in half. Um, it, if you have one pound of meat... Or, um, if you wanted to, you could probably do about, uh, three bell, three bell peppers cut in half with about a half a pound of meat. So I'll leave the, um, ingredients and all the directions that I used in the, um, uh, description. And thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to have this. I'm probably going to end up putting this in the fridge and pulling it out later and having an amazing meal. This is super easy to make. Um, you can basically spice it up any way that you would really like, and I feel that this would be a fantastic meal if you have family coming over or something like that and you want to impress them, or just to make a meal out of very simple ingredients like rice, ground beef, and tomatoes and bell peppers, um, so you can just make a meal for your family or just for yourself, just like, oh my gosh, and this stuffing is just unbelievable, like, it's so good. Um, I loved it. I really recommend putting mushrooms in there because I feel like that made a difference. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!